di Serie Attori, io sono Giada e bentornati in questo nuovo video. Oggi come vedete sono qui con un ospite molto molto speciale che è Jay Christoph, l'autore della saga di Nevernight, pubblicata qui in Italia dalla Oscar Volt. Ringrazio tantissimo Jay per essere qui oggi, spero che il video possa piacervi. Uh, inizierò con tre piccole domande e poi uh, faremo un gioco che è il Most Likely To. Uh, the first question that I have is, uh, is a question that I always like to ask others because they are others but also readers as sure. well. So uh, I want to know, I'd like to know, uh, which was the book that made you fall in love with reading, the book that made you a reader? My favorite book of all time is Where the Wild Things Are by Maurice Sendak. I actually have a tattoo of oh. Max on my arm. Right. Um, and that was the first book that I fell in love with as a kid. Okay. Uh, but my, f my favorite book, my kind of gateway drug into reading as a hobby was The Hobbit by um, J.R. Tolkien. Um, yeah, I love it too. We had, I probably would have been, God, eight years old, and we had these books in schools. They were kind of anthologies, I guess. Mm -hmm. So we would have a chapter. Okay. There'd be 13 chapters, and each chapter would be a different chapter from a different book. And oh. it would be like kind of, you know, 13 great works mm -hmm. of literature. And one of those chapters was chapter five from The Hobbit Riddles in the Dark, where Bilbo is riddling with gone. And I remember reading that as a little kid in class, and then running from, as soon as the bell rang, I ran to the library to ask the librarian oh, if she had this book. Uh, and she was like, oh, I might have heard of it. And, she, okay. <laughs> uh, and that, that was the first time I felt like a book had been written for me. Oh. And I remember the feeling of just opening up the pages and seeing the map of Middle Earth. I felt like I was in a totally different world for the first time ever. Um, Yeah, it, it's a combo where the wild things okay. are. That's great. Right. Second question is, since we are in Italy and uh, my viewers are also Italians, yeah. uh, and in Evernight we also have uh, inspirations for the atmosphere and the world building of Venice and the Roman Empire. Yeah. So I wanted to know why those particular inspirations? Ah, because I loved the Roman Empire is one of my hobbies. I'm a bit of a nerd uh, as far as ancient Roman history goes. I've always loved it ever since high school. And I studied Italian in high school for three years. Um, so I speak about a hundred words of Italian. I can order coffee in Italian and that's about it. Uh, I can, I know the word for window, apri la finestra. Open the window. I'm not sure how good that is going to be in my everyday life, but yeah. Uh, But yeah, I've been in love with ancient Roman history ever since I was a little kid. And so Mia started as a thought experiment in terms of what would have happened to Caesar's, Julius Caesar's family had his rebellion against the Senate failed because he had a wife and he had a daughter. Mia was kind of a thought experiment, what would happen, what would happen to a daughter of a famous patrician family if her, you know, paterfamilias um, tried to rebel against the Senate and failed? What would be the outcome of his family after he was executed? So yeah, I'm just, I'm a big nerd as far as ancient Roman history goes, so I, I drew a lot on my knowledge of that world and those people uh, mm. to kind of inform the backdrop of the world. And third question before we start the game, which is my favorite, okay. uh, is if you were a teacher at the Red Church, which subject would you teach? <laughs> would you like to teach? It would probably be songs. Uh, it, it would be swords because I've got reach. Like I would actually be, I would, I would be a pretty good sword fighter. Okay. Not because I'm good at sword fighting, just because I'm tall. <laughs> And if you're tall, that means you have reach. Yeah, so you know, if if you're trying to hit me, you have to get in pretty close. And by the time you've got close, I've already got you. I'd still be pretty bad at it though. I'm, I'm not very physically coordinated, yeah. so I would have to rely on more intimidation than actual skill to scare wow. people away. What about you? What would you be? Well, uh, I think something with um, books or you know, history. Oh, so you'd be in the library, right? Yeah, of course, yeah. The library, okay, that'll okay. work. <laughs> okay, so the game is the most likely to. Uh, so I have some questions, sure. and uh, we have to write uh, on this. Um, <laughs> the name of uh, the character of the books that you think would be most likely to do that. Okay. I, I was interested I in this also because uh, I think it, it would be interesting to know um, your answer as a, the author and my answer as sure. the reader. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And they are funny and silly questions. Okay. <laughs> so uh, the first question is, who is most likely to start a rock band? <laughs> <laughs>
Okay. All right. Keep on me. <laughs> yeah. Because um, I think she would be great, like uh, a rock singer. I and she know. wouldn't. And she wouldn't be afraid of looking yeah. silly up on stage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think she would be great. Uh, I picked Alia just because she's <laughs> she's beautiful. Yeah, and full of self confidence. Yeah. yeah of and you kind of have to be. She, when she would be great on the stage. She'd be a good front yeah, person. Yeah. Okay. So uh, <laughs> next question here. Who would most likely never be invited to a birthday party? <laughs> 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 because they have no friends? Or are they Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a very good one. <laughs> well, I doubt someone wants to invite them to a really party. They might get invited anyway just because yeah. you're afraid of what yeah. would happen if you didn't invite yeah, them. That's, right. <laughs> that's a good answer. Yeah, Solace is just yeah. he's a prick. No one likes him. <laughs> Who is most likely to cry watching romantic movies? Three, two, one. Who is most likely to get into a fight with a Disney costume character? Like a physical altercation? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Right. Two, one. Oh, that's, that's funny. I thought about her yeah. and she would totally fight. Yeah, I just but think it's funny to see an old lady yeah. punching a <laughs> <laughs> most likely to get arrested for walking around naked. <laughs> Go. Oh, oh yeah, that was yeah, perfect. Yeah. They're both very good answers. Totally would, yeah. would, would be no problem. <laughs> Who is most likely to be on a beauty commercial? Okay. That this is easy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Who is most likely to not be able to control the laugh at serious moments? So laughing inappropriately. Yeah. One. Oh, I, I thought. Yeah, that. yeah. That was, <laughs> that was, that was okay, they were totally. Yeah. <laughs> Who is most likely to be scratched out from Santa's list because he, she is not nice? Everyone in the book. <laughs> <laughs> the worst of the, the worst. worst. I'm going to that again. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, he's bad. Yeah. Everyone's bad, but he's probably the bad. Yeah. He's the bad guy that even the bad guys hate. So yeah. <laughs> Who is most likely to open a YouTube channel? Okay. okay. Three, two, one. Oh, oh yeah, that'd be good. The only problem is I don't know how we would operate the camera. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think I think he would find a way. Like, <laughs> he would be up by me up, but yeah, uh, yeah. I think it would be. So what would his channel? What would his channel be about? Oh. Just being sarcastic. Yeah. Saying yeah. mean things. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm watching. And I think a lot of people would follow him because he's a cat. He's Who a doesn't cat. want to follow a cat on yeah. YouTube? Yeah. A talking cat. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is an easy one actually, but uh, who is most likely to take their pets on their first date? I mean, it's not like she gets a choice, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> actually, her around. Her. She tells yeah. them to stay home and that still comes. Last question. Okay. Who is most likely to go grocery shopping for one thing and came back with everything else but that one thing? <laughs> Me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a good question. The dog is yeah, kind of like... Yeah. <laughs> I thought about Ash too, because I don't know, maybe she could get lost in something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, this is the end of the video. I thank you so, so much thank for you being with me today. Hey, ragazzi, uh, allora, il video termina, termina qui. Io spero tantissimo che vi sia piaciuto. Uh, fatemi sapere già nei commenti. E niente, noi ci vediamo nel prossimo video. Ciao! Ma è andata, puoi respirare. Bravissimo. Da quasi piano.